Welcome back to Extreme Weather History, the channel that explores how climate has shaped human history and how history continues to define our present. In today's episode, we're taking you back to the year 1540, a time of political upheaval, religious conflicts, and surprising weather phenomena that left a lasting impact on Europe. In 1540, amidst King Henry's two weddings and the ongoing dissolution of the monasteries, Western Europe faced an extreme natural phenomenon, the mega drought of 1540. Research by a team of international scientists has shed light on this devastating heat wave and drought that surpassed the severity of even the notorious European heat wave of 2003. During this time, while King Henry VIII was marrying his fifth wife, Catherine Howard, Western Europe was grappling with an 11 month period of little rain, qualifying as a mega drought. Surprisingly, this extreme weather occurred during the Little Ice Age, a period known for its generally cooler temperatures. The stark contrast between the severe drought and the overall cooler climate of the era makes the events of 1540 all the more intriguing. Contemporary chronicles from across Europe vividly describe the dire effects of the prolonged drought and heat. Major rivers saw their water levels plummet, wells dried up, and wildfires spread uncontrollably, darkening the skies with choking smoke. Agriculture and livestock farming were devastated, and the consequences were disastrous for the people of Europe. Estimates suggest that around half a million people lost their lives during this period, with dysentery being a major cause of death due to the scarcity of water. Let's take a closer look at some of the astonishing records left behind by observers of the time. Christian Feister, a Swiss historian, states that there was almost no rain for 11 months during 1540. Temperatures exceeded the norms by 5 to 7 degrees Celsius in many places. The drought began in northern Italy in 1539 and gradually spread northwards, impacting regions like Spain and Germany. The lack of rain was so severe that even processions were held, imploring God for rain. Major rivers like the Rhine, Elbe and Seine experienced record low water levels, so shallow that one could cross them on foot. Even Lake Constance saw its waters evaporate, causing the lake's connection to the mainland to emerge. The impact on agriculture was so profound that grapes ripened in August, fruit trees bloomed twice, and wine became cheaper than water in some regions. But the mega drought of 1540 wasn't just a natural disaster, it coincided with a tumultuous period in Europe, marked by political and religious conflicts related to the Reformation. The scarcity of water and the prevalence of wildfires gave rise to numerous city fires throughout German territories, leading to suspicions of arson driven by anti-Protestant sentiments. Vagabonds and beggars were often blamed, and the year 1540 gained a grim reputation as the Mordbrenner Jahr, or the Year of Arsonists. Despite the record-breaking temperatures and the ensuing famine it brought, the 1540 drought, surprisingly, left no lasting impact. European crops and communities demonstrated a remarkable resilience, bouncing back from the harsh conditions in a manner that distinguished their recovery from the challenges posed by unusually cold weather events just a few decades later. The mega drought of 1540 stands as a significant yet often overlooked event in history. It serves as a crucial reminder that extreme weather, whether in the form of heat or cold, is not a recent anomaly, but rather a recurring aspect of our past. Join us next time as we delve further into the fascinating world of weather history.